Hello there, everybody. My name is Chatterack, and welcome to Pokemon 3D. I'm really excited to play this game. I found it through the game Jolt, and it's been out for a while now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I saw some people play it with the Oculus before, actually. But I always wanted to try it out. It looks fascinating to me, and I love Pokemon. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Pokemon. So I'm really excited to play it, because it just it looks really, really cool. And um, it actually has gamepad support. Which is weird. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. I was, I've was i really been wanting to play Pokemon ever since I helped my buddy um, Tim on his channel, Game Tim. We played the Vietnamese bootleg version of a uh, crystal version. And uh, like ever since then, like I, I was really like kind of like not sure if I wanted to do anything like this on the channel. But I, I was like just so into it. I was like, yeah, I, I absolutely I have to. So there's me. So in this, you can actually choose your skin out of like a couple of the last gen like um, avatars. I mean, obviously, like stretching, it, it stretches from gold and silver to like I think these are the guys from uh, like uh, diamond and pearl, and then these guys are the um, black and white. Maybe are they from diamond and pearl? I don't know. They're all meshing now. <laughs> but Ethan's the coolest. I like him. I'm gonna name myself Chad. <laughs> Alright, so your name is Chad? Yes. I think my favorite avatar, though, was the one from Ruby and Sapphire. Just because when I, like, on the Game Boy Advance, you couldn't really tell from his sprite. But I always thought he had white hair, and I love always making my character have white hair in games. But then when they eventually made it into Omega Ruby and Alpha, <laughs> Alpha Sapphire, I found out that that wasn't the case. Oh, this is so cool. Everything's in... Th like, every even though things are in 3D, you still move as if you were in 2D. So it's, like, still very linear. Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, Chad. Our neighbor, Professor Helm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. No Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. There you are. Yay. Poke gear. Pokemon gear, or just Poke gear, is essentially... If you want to be a good trainer, by the way, do you know how to use the phone? No, I have no idea how to use the phone. Don't you just turn the pocket key on by pressing Q and switch over to the phone? Phone is sort of memory. Just choose the name you want to call. Isn't that convenient? Also, here's my number. Oh, thanks, Mom. My biggest fan. <laughs> Love you, Mom. <laughs> and out the door we go. Oh, that was pretty seamless. And so I'm pretty sure this game actually is... Based off of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, oh hey, you. <laughs> ah, Chad, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and rattling about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're so busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into this for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we are just found. Go on, pick one. I already know which one I'm going after, so... Gotta have my boy Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? Of course I will. I think that's a great Pokemon, too! Um, let's name him. He's a male. Actually, no, I'll just keep him the same. You can have him. Nope. Cyndaquil's fine. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should hit it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. Chad, I'm counting on you. All right. I don't wanna... Oh, hi. Oh, Chad, I want you to have this for your errand. <laughs> Thank you for the medicine. There are only two of us, so we're always so busy. Thanks, scientist dude. I, where's that tentacle? Oh, hi, buddy. Your Pokemon has a flower petal on its face. Well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> oh, right. Time to get on to the getting on. This is cool. You're like, oh, this could be difficult. Look at the terrain. You can't really tell where you're going. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can see this being difficult for caves. Cause like before, you always said that it was always top down. I know there's a potion back here. 
All the way back here. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> a wild Hoppip appeared! Were Hoppip always indigenous here? Or is that rare? Tackle! Oh, I was kind of hoping to see him be like, ooh. Maybe it'll do stuff like that with, like, actual moves, like water gun. Okay. Are animations turned off, maybe? Is that... Is that a thing? Maybe maybe not in here. Maybe I gotta actually... All right, let's take care of this hopping first. Cyndaquil, go! Use tackle attack now! We are victorious. Death to the Hoppips! Okay, let, 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 let's see. Is there like a... Um, no, I don't want to quit. I just wanted to... Whoa. What is all this? Oh. Um, okay. Uh, do I... How do I get to my menu? Oh, that mutes the game. <laughs> I don't know how to access my menu. Oh, E. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that would be in here or not. Let's see. Game. Tech speed. Oh, tech speed. That needs to be all the way up. Can I? There we go. All right. A few bobbing. Um, battle. Animations are on. So it might just be specific. Like, specific things. So... There we go. Alright, now pick that up. Found a potion! Actually, I told you there was a potion there. You didn't believe me, I saw the look in your eye. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, it's a Pidgey! Well, my cynical will make short work of you, Pidgey. It is cool seeing the sprites like this. I still always... I always have wished that... I, I mean, it goes against the whole idea of Pokemon, because in, in Japan, as most of you probably know, if you're watching this video about Pokemon, you definitely should know, they always called them pocket monsters. So, like, we had our smoke screen now, cool. Uh, where am I? <laughs> like, I always wanted to have a game like, like they made for the handhelds, like but like on a console. Like, uh, on GameCube and Wii, they made a couple of titles, but they weren't really, like, the same. Like... There was two made on GameCube. One was called Pokemon Coliseum, and the sequel to that was called Gale of Darkness. But they were, like... The stories were, like, kind of preset. So, like, it wasn't exactly as, like, open as, like, the, like you know, like, the regular games were. Which I always hated. Because, like, I've always just wanted, like, a true console field Pokemon game. Like, this concept, but, like, you know, with, like, actual, like, Pokemon Stadium graphics. Well, maybe not Pokemon Stadium graphics, but you understand what I mean. Yeah, take that, Pidgey. And unfortunately, I never got it, but I think that's because it kind of, again, kind of goes against what Pocket Monsters is. Like, they, I think Nintendo always intended it to be something you played portably, because they were supposed to be monsters that, you know, were in these Pokeballs, or in your, put in your pocket. So that's kind of why I think it never has come to be, but who knows? Maybe they'll finally do it in the future, but I, I'm not going to hold my breath for it anymore. See that vault? Did you see those vault skills? I know, they were awesome. Alright, we're in Cherry Grove. So let's go ahead and get our Cynical healed a little bit. Alright. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. I would love to heal them. Okay, thank you. Bum bum bum. Thank you for waiting. We have restored your Pokemon to full health, and I now have a manly voice. <laughs> All right, here we go. It is really neat seeing like the <laughs> like this game in 3D. <laughs> like, cynical you're as tall as that building. I can't wait to like get like like uh, one of like the bigger Pokemon to where like <laughs> these guys are like towering <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Sorry if you're, you're probably not going to be able to hear most of the songs in this game, just because, like, I have to, I have to basically mute the music in this game, because otherwise, YouTube will flag it and 
be like, oh, why are you doing that? Grr. So, sorry if it's going to be really quiet, but that's just how it's got to be. Actually, like, I, I can tell you another reason I was really kind of, I got back into the idea of playing this game is, um, another one of the, the YouTubers I like to watch a lot on, oh my gosh, this Pidgey is killing us. Good thing we have an Orenberry. Um, is because, uh, one of my, another one of my favorite YouTubers is a guy named Yami Mash, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And he just recently started picking up his Pokemon series again, which I'm really excited about. So it kind of got me also in it, like, inspiration to do it. So, because I had started to at one point, and then I, I really just, like, wasn't sure if people would like it or not, but, um, everyone knows that my, I'm really good friends with my, a good friend of mine named Tim, who has a Game Tim channel, and he was very, like, supportive of me, like, trying to do it, so I decided what the hey I would do it, and see if, you know, if people don't like it, then maybe I'll just move on, but I, I, I think people will like, will, will like Pokemon as a series. So it'll be fun to play. Nostalgia and all that. Especially because I'm waiting for a new title to come out. Which apparently is going to be Z. It seems like all signs are pointing to Z because they announced a new like anime or a new movie or, uh, based around Zyngarde. So we'll see what happens. I need to... We need to heal up. Oh gosh, the bag is kind of weird. There you go. The bag, the, the bag works very strangely. I don't, I don't know how I like that. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's a Caterpie. Could you please just go away, Caterpie? I don't want to hurt you, but I kind of do. <laughs> Ow. Take that. Well, jerk off. Yeah. There's Mr. Okay, there's not Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, now it's your wheel. He came to get vengeance for his fallen comrade. Then you two shall be like the Caterpie and face the same fate. My speed may have fallen, but so have you, my friend. Adios, Weedle. Alright, let's go see Mr. Pokemon. Here we are, going in. <laughs> hello, hello, you must be Chad. Professor Yum said that you would visit. This is what I wanted Professor Yum to examine. Oh, a mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. No, oh, oh, hi. <laughs> I couldn't see. I forgot he was in there. <laughs> you can't really see that. Ah, so you're Chad. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! <laughs> you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See this? This is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I got a Dexter. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Golden Round for my usual couch show. Chad, I'm counting on you! Thanks, Professor Oak. You're returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I don't know why, but I'm, like, trying to give that guy the voice of Kami. <laughs> I'm depending on you! Getting a phone call from Professor Elm. Uh, uh, hello? Ch Ch it's a disaster! Um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It's- Oh no! Please, get back here now! Click! Okay. We gotta go back. S oh, well. Gonna have to wait. <laughs> Another Pidgey. Look at that. We're already... Once we beat this Pidgey, we'll already be at level 8. So we're awesome. Ow. Take that, Pidgey. Yeah, screw you, Pidgey. There we are. Oh, tits. 
We'll be level 50 by the time we get back to freaking Cherry Grove. Oh, take that, Pidgey! What you know? Okay, it's so on, Pidgey. It's so on. Yeah, how you like that? Level 8. Oh, what? I think I learned Ember at level 9. I think. See, I always like Cyndaquil, too, because, like, he evolved so early into Quillava. It's, like, the earliest ever. Oh, what's that? Oh! Hey! An antidote! That'll be useful for when those Weedles decide to be complete dickbags and be like, Weedle, 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 Weedle. It's so weird playing this with a keyboard, because, like I said, it's completely one-directional. So it's like, even though it's 3D, it still applies to the rules of, like, the handheld. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and heal here. I know what's going to get ready to come up. We're going to fight a rival here. Well, he's not really an established rival yet. He's more of a, of a villain. Petty thief. But, rival nonetheless. Alright. Here we are. Oh god, he just like appears. Hi, friend! You've got a Pokemon at the lab. Pfft, what a waste. A wimp like you. Pfft, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean! Versus trainer, question mark. Question mark and his Totodile want to battle. Go, Cyndaquil! Oh, it's so on. Cyndaquil, use Tackle! <laughs> Look at that! Almost half your health has gone already! Oh god, he used Scratch. Psh, psh. Look at that pathetic little Scratch. I always found this game's, like, rival system to be kind of weird. Like, same thing with actually, like, Alpha... or Well, yeah, I mean, Alpha Ruby and... Um, Alpha Ruby, yeah. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because, like... They gave you the chance to completely level up your Pokemon. So, like, <laughs> my, what I normally do is, like, I normally level up my Pokemon, like, to level, like, 10. <laughs> and then I <laughs> go and fight the rival, and they just get it crushed. <laughs> Come back, to the dial. I defeated you. And he gave me $300. My name's... I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Ow! You know, I wonder if he actually goes that far in the game. Or if it's just like that because of this. Alright. Let's go and see what what has Professor Elm in such distress. I, I can only imagine what it would be. You know, since we got to choose three starter Pokemon, and I chose Cyndaquil, and that guy had a Totodile. I wonder what could have happened. I'm not very good at figuring out stories if you haven't figured it out. <laughs> oh, Pidgey, you know what? It's so on. It's on like Donkey Kong. All the Nintendo references in one episode. Ow! I hope we make it to New Bark Town, because I really don't want to use another berry. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Pidgey. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, there we go. Alright. I wonder how you... Can you run? Well, I guess... Maybe I don't have shoes. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember if, how that works. Oh, I missed the door. I heard a Pokemon was stolen from here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. I don't know why I'm giving him that voice. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? <laughs> Silver. That's a boring name. I don't know what to name him, though, now that I think about it. Let's, um... Hmm. 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 Let's... What, what, I don't know what to name him. How about I name him, like... I'm gonna name him Scrub. Scrub Lord. <laughs> Alright, so Scrub Lord was his name, eh? Thanks for helping my investigation. Scrub Lord's a terrible name. 
<laughs> Chad, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Here's the egg. This? But it's a Pokemon egg. If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokemex. Chad, is that true? That, that that's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Chad, you might have what it takes to become a Pokemon as champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be that one in Violet City. The road to championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Nah. <laughs> I never talk to her. She just calls you. <laughs> Chad, he was these on your Pokemax quest. <laughs> to add your Pokemax, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs into wild Pokemon to get them. He's a nerd. Alright, well, I feel like that's a good first episode of this. I, I guess I really want I would love to do this as a series, but I really want to make sure that I'm putting content on the channel that everyone likes. So, you know, let me know what you guys think of the video. I mean, if you guys want to keep playing Pokemon with me, I, I would... <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> but, you know, just let me know what we want to do. So, thank you guys so much for watching this very first episode of Pokemon 3D. And if you liked it, hit the like button and comment and tell me what you guys thought. If you guys want to see other games that I've played, you can check the annotations here and check down in the description below for more playlists of fun games that we've played together. So thank you guys so much again for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, look at my sweet shark guy! Oh, he's badass! Oh, <laughs> he slides forward. He's genius. Yes! Do you even know how- Ow! Bastard. That grappling hook has some range, though! See, did you see those sweet grapple hook skills? Whoa, 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 whoa. I really like how the wall, like, climbing works.